All right, people, we back from vacation. We got the new shirts. I ain't gonna lie, man. These these black shirts is kind of fine. I still gotta get the, the, the contrast. Anyway, Jim Stars. Look, look, look. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video. Check it out, man. I was getting these shirts perfected, so they may not be in the shop right now, but they will be later on today. Work harder, shine brighter, gym star. I got to get the, the contrast going, because black on white is hard for the whole thing, man. But it is what it is. Listen, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's just get right into it. I got my I got my co-host Cap Callaway here with me. He calling out anything this Cap. And uh, pretty much, man, we don't have a whole lot. I went on vacation, so that's where I've been the last couple of days. I, I wasn't able to uh, put out the videos like I wanted to, but now I'm back and I'm ready to get this stuff going. We got the grind going. I'm probably streaming on Twitch right now as you're watching. But look, let's just get to the get to the, all the information that everybody's here for. Look, check it out. First. Elite one. That's your boy Chalk, man. The dude Chalk has been grinding. Look at my little boy in the background. He don't care about my news, so he doesn't care. Uh, your boy Chalk has been grinding. He's been trying to get to the first Elite one. He wants to be the first uh, superstar legend, whatever it is, man. And I can't hate on it. If you're going to grind, 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 and grind some more, hey, you deserve everything that comes along with it. Go over there and check his video out. I'm sure y'all all know about him. Chalk DF. He recently joined DF. And, uh, hey, he's doing his thing, man. Can't even hate on that. You can't hate on somebody that's going to grind. They see a goal. They want to get to the goal. And they're not afraid to do what it takes to get to that goal. So, hey, salute to him, man. All that good stuff. On to the next thing, man. 2K Labs has an interesting video about Pogo Stick. Pogo Stick is the badge that allows you to jump over and over. You guys need to go over there and check that video out right now immediately if you're a guy that likes to jump a lot in the paint like me sometimes sometimes i like to jump not to fool people. i like to jump to fool people i very rarely jump because i got fooled i normally jump because i want you to try to jump again like i want to jump and you think that I'm, I'm helpless and then when you go up the next time get that shot out of here that's what i like to do and a lot of you guys probably like to do the same thing so if you are if you are a deceptive jumper then this might be the badge for you. They show you that you save quite a bit of time if you use this badge as opposed to not using the badge. But that doesn't mean it's going to be worth it for you. Just because a badge is worth it doesn't mean it's necessarily worth it to you because you may have no use for it. Just like Dead Eyes worth it. Difficult shots are worth it. But is it worth it to me? If I'm if I'm playing off the ball, difficult shots is not worth it. I'm going to take very few difficult shots. If I'm playing on the ball, difficult shots is definitely worth it because you're going to take a whole lot of fades. And that's the segue that we're going into right now, ladies and gentlemen. And this is not all cap, baby. Look, the fadeaway jump shots are back in this game. And I'm not going to lie to you. They're not, they're not back in the bad iteration that they were. But check out my guy right here. This is my guy right here. We go on to camera three. Go to camera. We on camera three? Okay, cool. Burnonomics. Hey, look. The instant burner, man. If you don't know who T. Mizzle is, you need to go check him out, man. Go to his channel. Link down in the description. Check him out right now. Uh, Look. It's the instant burner, man. Anyway, the fadeaway jump shots are back in the game. You just have to take them from mid-range. You're going to see him shoot a plethora. And I mean a plethora of fadeaway jump shots. And, um... He's going to green them all. I mean, like, he may have missed two or three shots the whole night, it seems like. So y'all really need to go check his channel out. Really need to check him out. Really need to check him out. Subscribe. Uh, hit him up and say, we want to burn up. We want to be part of the burner game. But anyway, the fadeaway jump shots are in the game. You have to take them from, from like, the key extended. Free throw line extended, key extended, all the way all the way around. If you know a free throw line extended, imagine a three-point line around the free, the, a line around the free throw line from the free throw line in. So 15 feet in and on the baseline, it seems to be money. I've seen a lot of people try to take the shots from uh, from deeper than that. It's not going to go in deeper than that. You are, you're barely going to hit it if you're at the top of the bubble, at the top of the key, um, you know, outside of the outside of where you actually shoot your free throws. You're not going to hit a whole lot of them. Yes, you will hit some fading threes. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that if you want to shoot fadeaways, here, like where he just took that shot from, that's the proper place from. You're probably going to see T take another one right here. Well, dude's fouling him right now. Big Worm, I mean Big Perm, he's fouling him right now. He don't want him to do much. He don't want him to get busy. But, hey, 
It is what it is. And while this game is going, let me see if he if he's gonna shoot one. Well, check it out, check it out. Paul sets the screen. Yeah, he found. I'm pretty sure he's gonna find a spot where he wants to take it. Give it to me. I'm gonna give it back. Oh, what am I doing? I got the layup 91% contested. Yes. Now we're gonna talk about shot contesting this also in this video, also and how they work. And I'm gonna show you why people think shot contests are broken when they're really not. Oh, uh, but first we gotta let the uh, T go to the rack. Look. Fans are back, that's all I can tell you. Shoot a free throw line extended. Go into my career, not my career, go into your my court like T did. T said he shot about three, 4,000 of them joints before he mastered it. So if you want to do something that he's doing, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put in the work. Like everybody wanna shoot the face, but nobody wants to, to put in those 3,000 shots because you don't wanna miss over and over. Big green, <laughs> right there's the shot. He's got all his hot spots. He's got all of his um, badges. He's got his badge. I think he got difficult shots on gold. T, let him know down in the comments which, which your badges are. We know he's got hot zone, Hunter. And like I said, he's able to hit the phase. Anyway, and now we're going to get on to the next thing. Shot contest. This is something that I want to tell y'all about. I'm going to bag this up right here. You see that? See right here, it says this is a 36% shot contest. Slightly late. I want y'all to see something here. I'm here late, but I still got a 36% shot contest, right? All right, look. The way that shot contests work in this game, Mike Wong actually, actually told us how it works. Now, shot contests work in two ways. You get where you are when the fellow takes the shot, and then you get like right there, 100% smothered. All right, you've got where, I'm, I'm gonna back it up one more time, and we, we still looking at phase, but 60% comes from where you are when he takes the shot. So right here, and then the other 40% comes from where your hand is when he actually lets the ball go or whatever. So if you can get your hand, you see I got my hand to his eye line before he released the ball or almost to his eye line. If I could have gotten to his eye line before, see I'm here. If I could have gotten to his eye line before he released the ball completely, it would have been a 40% shot contest. So 60% is before the shot and then 40%, well 60% is before the gather, 40% is after he gathers. So right here, I can only get a 36%, but I got 36% out of 40, so that's really good because the most I could have gotten was 40 out of that. Here, Paul is here when he gathers and when he goes up. So Paul gets 100% smothered. You see what I'm saying? So you got 60% of the shot you can affect before he goes up. If you're there when he gathers, you have a possibility of getting 60%. And if, uh, what's up? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry about that. I had to answer, my, my answer somebody. Look, 60% is before you gather. You can get a good contest. So if you're there before the person takes the shot, then you're gonna, you can, you can get up to 60% shot contest. After that, you can only get a 40% shot contest if you get there late. Now, I've got a theory and why you're probably missed. Like, you can still green a 30% shot contest or something like that, but I got a theory and I feel like I need 2K Labs to tell me, tell me this. 2K Lab, I know y'all watching the video, let me know. How does Intimidator impact this? Because I feel like Intimidator really says, what, what Intimidator does is in, increase your sphere of influence. So if I, if I put my hand up and I'm late, but Intimidator pops up, does that mean that I got that 60% green bean money team? Does that mean that I really got the 60% shot contest before, or I got part of that 60% shot contest? And then what you see on the screen is gonna be added on to whatever I got. So like, let's just say, let's say right here, he's gonna take this shot right. That's gonna say wide open, but he missed it and it's slightly late. But did I get some spear of influence? Did Intimidator pop up? I don't know if Intimidator popped up. Uh, I don't think it did because it said wide open. But let's just say like right here, we're both there. If Intimidator would have popped up, is that like a secret percentage that doesn't pop up? Because what I feel like Intimidator does is it just says that you're there some kind of how so uh let's let what we're gonna do is let's run it back and see some of these shot contests that i got um let's i just want to go back to the to the next time we see shot contests okay four percent covered right let's see if he had intimidator i oh that's paul okay I, obviously that's not gonna be that i, I wonder if intimidator okay here we go 80 percent covered right here so look look at this right here it said 80 percent covered T's not here before the guy starts going up, right? So he's gathering. T's not there. Now he's getting ready to go up, right? And he's still not there, <laughs> really. 
and now he's there. So according to the rules, he should have only gotten a 40% shot contest. He got an 80% shot contest. And I feel like that's because when he's going up, you shouldn't be able to affect it anymore. And I'm going to show you why, why, how, how that is in a second. But I feel like because T has Intimidator, then he's getting that extra um, that extra percentage. So he's probably getting a 40% shot contest right there. And then he's got another 40 when he jumped because he's there right when he takes a shot. And that makes it be that 80%. Conversely, this guy does not have... Uh, let me see if I can get... When I, when I shoot my first three. Conversely, this guy does not have... Uh, intimidator and because he doesn't the next time I take a shot and it's green oh here we go here we go right here he don't have it was I wide open it probably it's probably gonna say wide open the next time but uh yeah, I, I can't find it but hey I was wide open y'all get what I'm trying to say though on the ones that are slightly covered I just wonder if that's because you don't have intimidator and the intimidator stack with whatever you got intimidator before the shot I believe it stacks with what you get after the shot and then boom you get what i get y'all get what i'm trying to say if you have on intimidator it says that you're there so it's gonna add on to the shot even when you're not done anyway i gotta get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna holler at y'all next time y'all let me know down in the comments what you think like the video like the video all that good stuff if you like the shirt it'll be up on the site and we're gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ holla